Hello friends, my name is Michael Goldsman, and in this video I want to talk with you just a little bit about becoming more permeable to the divine. I also want to give you an actual experiential process with the angels and with the ascended masters to help you right in this brief video. I want to begin just by saying that over the last 10 years of doing energy healing, channeling, and clearing work, and working with hundreds of clients from around the world, I found certain general rules to be true when we're approaching areas of confusion in our lives, or areas that need healing, or areas in which we feel blocked or stuck somehow, but we don't really know why. There are a lot of details that I work with in each of my sessions as to how to help individual people with that, but an overarching, overall reason why people are struggling and having challenges in their lives is because they aren't permeable enough to the divine. Now let me just explain. I use this analogy a lot in my teaching and in my sessions with people that you could imagine if a river was flowing through a riverbed, flowing effortlessly, flowing regularly, no obstruction, that it would continue moving, the water would be healthy, the water would be going from source to its ultimate destination easily. Now if there perhaps was a mudslide, an avalanche, a big boulder that got in the way of the river, the river would stop flowing perhaps, it would have to flow around it, or it might get blocked up or stopped up in some way. And therefore the water might become, over time, polluted, it might be filled with algae, it might have uh, stagnation and not allow fish or other uh, creatures to live in it. Same thing is true with our soul and with our spirit. When all of the different aspects of our being, our connection to spirit, to our own soul, when they're all healed, when they're all cleared, when they're repaired, when they're aligned, when they're flowing, and when that energy of our soul has a deep connection from the heart of what I call Father, Mother, Source, or the heart of God or Spirit, all the way, not just into our mind or into our emotions or into our uh, spiritual uh, visioning that we have, for instance, when we go into meditation, we might see or capture a spiritual vision. Sometimes spiritual energy flows all the way till there, but then because of other restrictions and blockages in our energy field, it stops. But when the energy is able to flow through that, through our levels and layers of our energy field, and really penetrate into the levels and layers that interpenetrate our own physical bodies, these are the areas sometimes called the chakras, and called the meridians, and called the nadis. They, they are larger than our physical body, but they also intersect and interpenetrate and connect our organs, our cells, our minds, our emotions, and our spirit. In other words, when we're full out and full on connected and open and permeable to the divine energy, when there isn't a wall that we set up, for instance, in the analogy I used earlier, I used the analogy of a boulder in a river or a stream. But you could imagine if there is a hard emotion like unforgiveness or like anger or resentment stuck within our heart centers or stuck within some a part of our emotional body that we haven't cleared. That's going to be like a dam. It's going to be like a boulder that's set up that doesn't allow us to have that free flow of connection of the divine into our lives. And also, it doesn't allow our own spirit to go the other direction, to flow out from within our own being. We may capture something in meditation but if we have walls set up, spiritual walls, spiritual blockages, spiritual restrictions, lack of repair in the energy field, lack of soul health, we'll be unable to send out those messages into the universe and have them find their manifestation effortlessly, easily, and for the highest good of our lives and the lives of others. So, you see, there's a, a complexity to this possibility. How do we get to be truly permeable? And yet, the issue of being permeable to the divine kind of boils it down. 
It's what we experience sometimes in meditation when we, and when we take deep breaths and we just surrender and let go. And we say, God, God is Father, Mother, Source. I want to be connected to you. I want to be available and surrendered to you more than I want to hold on to any restriction, any limitation, any belief that I have that's somehow holding me back. Well, so now that I've planted that seed into your consciousness, I'd like to go into a brief meditative process with you now where we're actually going to call upon the angels and the ascended masters and spirit, Father, Mother, Spirit herself, himself, to work with us now to help increase that suppleness and subtleness of our energy field. Now, I want you to come into a meditative space now with your eyes closed, preferably seated, and really bring your attention into your body, into the present moment where you are right now. Forgetting about where you were earlier today or this week or this month and forgetting about where you're going to go after this meditation. It's really important that your consciousness be really centered in the now and open and available to the healing work that's going to transpire. I invite you now to take a few deep breaths Just feel your body calming, relaxing, and opening as you breathe deeply into your abdomen. We call forth in this moment all of the beautiful angels, archangels, ascended masters of the cosmic and planetary hierarchy, the beautiful Benevolent spirits of the earth, Father, Mother, Source, the energy of the Holy Spirit, all of our highest vibration guides and spiritual teachers to now be in this place for this moment of absolute opening and surrender. We ask in this moment, and as often and as many times as people watch this video, we ask that you would begin to work with all levels of our physical etheric, emotional, astral, mental, spiritual bodies, all the levels and layers of our energy field, our soul, our mind and spirit that connect from this point of our incarnation of our bodies right now all the way out to the highest realms, the deepest levels and the most true areas of oneness of this universe. And we ask in this moment, that all of these levels and layers of our being, you would begin to completely clear and lift off from us any oppressive energies, any negative energies, any restricting energies, any blocking energies. We ask you to upgrade our levels of mind, our subconscious and conscious and superconscious minds right now. We ask you to quicken and upgrade the cells, the tissues and the organ systems of our body so that we can become more alivened and permeable to the divine light energy that wants to emerge from us and wants to be attracted to us. Breathing, relaxing, and releasing. We ask the mighty hands of the archangels to begin to soften any restrictions in our vibration now, pulling out psychic attack energy negative and lower vibrational entities that are hanging around us or in our energy field now, any sharp edges to our energy field that we have ever attracted, places in consciousness where we have willingly or not willingly, perhaps unconsciously, restricted the spiritual flow from being able to reach us, restricted our own souls from being able to really expand out to release our gifts, to become all that we can truly be, all that we're inspired to be, all that we're here to do and to become. We invite in this moment the angels to release us from that bondage, release us from that yoke right now, clearing through all levels, bodies, lifetimes. We're at a point of choice right now, just clearing, cleansing, releasing, And I invite you to breathe, friends, with me now. It's just beautiful angelic energy that's working with us right now. No need to be scared. No need to be afraid. 
at any point in this process you can say stop if it doesn't feel comfortable. I'm just inviting you though with these beautiful angelic vibrations just just surrender. They need your compliance to be able to cleanse and clear you. They can't violate your free will. Anything in particular that spirit brings to your consciousness now that reminds you that you need to release and let go. I invite you to take a deep breath into that now and just release it and let it go. Let your vibration in this moment begin to attract the light and the vibrations and the fulfillment of your desires, your dreams, and your destiny at a deeper, more profound, more powerful level than you've ever had before. Allow spirit to be able to minister to you now. Allow the angels to be able to repair even your physical body, your emotions, your relationships, your finances, your job and career, your place of channeling financial abundance in, through, and as your life. Just by placing your attention to these areas now, you are becoming more willing in this moment. You're becoming more permeable more open to the divine than ever before. See how far you can surrender in this moment. See if you can surrender even a little bit more. Letting go. Relaxing. Releasing. Knowing that all is well. Knowing that when you release every restriction, every form of bondage, that all you have left is the perfect, beautiful flow of the divine to rely on as your source and as the substance of every good thing that's seeking to emerge in your life. We ask you angels to tune up the vibration now of flow and permeability in all of our cell tissue now. Remind each of our trillions of cells in our body now. Remind our minds and spirits now of the light energy that is our true nature. Grant us now a full light and love shower, a beautiful bathing of all levels and bodies of our being now, helping to create greater flexibility in our spirits, greater sensitivity and subtlety, so we can know what we're being guided to do and we can go ahead and do it. We know that grace is coming forth now, in, through, and as our lives. So friends, as you listen to this meditation, as it begins to come to a conclusion, Spirit will always ask of you to take an action step. And I'm asking you in this moment to just be sensitive. The step has already been given to you. If you have not been clear as to what it is, just ask Spirit in this moment, what is the next step that I am to take in this process of becoming more permeable, more filled with spiritual energy so that I can manifest the purpose I came here to manifest. Just listen deeply. If you felt some confusion about that, I would invite the angels in this moment to over the next 24 hours to make it absolutely abundantly clear to you through synchronicities exactly what it is you are to do now. Perhaps it's some person you're to contact. It's some spiritual practice that you're to get into. It's some habit or some food or something in your life that you're to get out of to release it and leave it behind. Perhaps it's listening to the creative impulses of your soul to do something that doesn't make sense to you in this moment, like paint something or compose something or write something. Perhaps it doesn't make sense, but this is the feeling, the prompting of your heart. I invite you to listen to that. Show spirit that you mean business. Show spirit that you want to move forward in the direction of increased permeability to the divine, increased flexibility, increased movement, so your life becomes one with spirit. I invite you in this moment to open your eyes, if you haven't already, to come back into the present moment and take some time, perhaps now, to even write out in a journal, on a piece of paper or something, some insights you've gotten from this meditation. 
Perhaps you can't think of anything to write, but as you begin to put the pen to paper, things and words will come through for you, and you may be surprised by the level of guidance you receive from this. It's been my pleasure, friends, to guide you on this meditative journey. I invite you to check out my websites below, clearingconnect.com, if you're interested in more of this kind of work. Again, my name is Michael Goldsman. Peace and blessings to you, friends. Until the next time, namaste.